Hey guys, Anthony here with a tutorial on how to add animated image overlays in PhotoDirector 365. So I've got PhotoDirector open here. I am in the library section. Under the project tab, click on import in the bottom left corner. Choose photos. Navigate to your folder. Choose your image and click open. So here is the image. Next, go to the Guided section up top. You'll see this dialog box pop up. Click OK. And in this left side panel, drop down Decorations. Next, drop down Overlays. In this left side panel, you'll see some preset templates. So let me choose this first one. And as you can see, it's applied this animation to the image. Let me choose another one. I'll go with this fourth template, and this is what the overlay animation template looks like. Let me close this section, and as you can see, there are many other image overlay sections here. If I drop down the light leak section, these are static overlays. Let me apply the second one, and this is what the static overlay looks like. You can click this clear button down below to remove the overlay. Let me close this section. And from these categories, let me open this Love Overlays Pack. As you can see, there are many overlay templates here. I'll go for this first one. And this is what the animated template looks like. If I scroll right down to the bottom, you'll see these manual settings. For example, you can use this opacity slider to adjust the transparency. You can use these buttons to rotate the overlay left and right. Similarly, you can use these buttons to flip the overlay template horizontally and vertically, like so. You can also use the speed slider to adjust the speed of the animation, like so. Finally, if I check this box to enable the template resize, it'll zoom out, like so. I can then use these handles to adjust it, like so. Let me uncheck this box to bring it back to the normal mode. Now, once you're happy with the template, click the Save As button in the bottom left corner. You can then save it as a photo or video. I'll choose the video option. And you'll see the dialog box pop up. Choose your folder and file name. Next, choose your file format. I'll stick with the MPEG 4. I'll leave the default aspect ratio to 16 by 9. Under Profile, you can choose a video resolution. I'll go with 720p. For the duration, I'll set the slider to 18 seconds. And finally, click Produce. It'll take a few seconds to export the MP4 video. And then once it's done, you'll get a confirmation. And here's how the animated image overlay came out. Well, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching.